Yeah, Next Cloud all in one. I really like that. It's my um, method of choice for installing Next Cloud because it is really what the Next Cloud devs recommend to install it. It just installs all of the containers for you. Um, and it also installs Borg backup as well. So you can just choose another share on your Unraid server and it will automatically back up everything, the database, all of the data. But if you do that, don't put the backup on the um, same pool or array as what you've got your normal NetCloud on. You know, even if you just put an unassigned disk or just um, a single drive pool, make sure it's a separate um, space for your backup. Don't just have it like um, a NetCloud share on your array and a backup share on the array. If you're going to do that, then specify a specific disk for the backup share, say disk eight or something, and make sure your normal NextCloud share excludes disk eight. Then at least your original and backup will be on different disks. That's what I recommend about NextCloud all in one. And David Smith says, should I redo or stay on my current version? Well, with Net if you're talking about NextCloud, Dave, I would say it's very difficult to actually migrate the data from one NextCloud to another because most of us will have NextCloud, if we haven't used the all in one, set up with MariaDB. So using an SQL database, MySQL, and the all-in-one uses Postgres. So it's really difficult to actually bring across the database. But if you're not really worried about just, if you've only got a few users, you can migrate their data across, reset up their accounts, and then you can run a command from CLI inside of the container to then have Nextcloud scan the user's folders, and it will update the database. But what you will lose is things like if you've ever shared out a link to someone else um, from your next cloud, obviously they won't work because the database will be fresh and it will only have the new files in. But, you know, I would migrate to it if it isn't going to be a big issue for you to kind of start again, really, and you don't mind losing the database, but not the data.